A shalom, shalom, shalom. First and foremost, I'd like to give all praises to the Most High Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Waharuka Kodash. Yahweh is the true name of the Most High Power, the Most High God, the God of Israel, Yashar Allah. Yahweh Shai is the true name of His only begotten Son, the one whom the world ignorantly calls Jesus, Yeshua, Jehovah, etc. Roka Kodash is the Holy Spirit that gives us the understanding of this truth. My double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, GMS, who taught me this truth, which is the 100% truth. Peace and salutations to the hopeful elect spread around the four corners of the earth, pushing this gospel in all sincerity. Shalom also to the few aquats who are sincerely seeking this truth. It's the brother Yaraya Yashar Allah from the GMS Italy camp. And I just wanted to do this quick lesson on this article that was sent to me. You know, and as you can see, the title it says, a, a microchip containing your Vanessa passport information can now be embedded in your hand. Okay, so the question is, what what do these people have to say now? All these, you know, all these Hebrew Israelite groups that have been mocking all this well, you know. There are many, even, there are many Christians that quite know and understand and get it that you know the mot is is the microchip but you know you have um hebrew israelite groups that are going against this truth you know trying to lead other people into into their destruction you know so now what do they have to say all those people that have been saying the motb is sleeping with white women the motb is um john 3 16 the, the motv is um is hegemony what do they have to say now the MOTB is um is Christianity. What do they have to say now? You know, they've been scoffing. You know, they 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 they've done all kinds of wickedness. You know, saying all kinds of wicked things against the apostles and elders, starting from the uh, the elder apostle Taha, bringing out the truth. You know, I've seen videos of past times. You know, that these men they, they've been laboring for a long time. You know, they'll be on the streets. You know, speaking and people would scoff, people would mock. You know. Now, all these things are just happening right in front of your eyes, you know. And the more we get closer to the return of our Mashiach, our Shai, the more we start seeing things unfolding before our eyes, you know. So what do these people have to say now? It's clear, now it's clear, you know, that the MOTB is, 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 this, is this potato chips, you know. So what do they have to say? First of all, let me just quickly get one quick... One quick precept before I go into into the topic itself. This is Second Peter, chapter three. I'm going to read verse three, which quotes, "Knowing this first, that there shall come in the last days scoffers, walking according, walking after their own lust." You know, there are many Hebrew Israelite groups out there. You know that they they're just they're all just a bunch of scoffers. You know. They walk after they are lost and now we're saying it you know it's 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 getting clearer and clearer each time we're getting closer to this last days you know we're saying that all they care about is you know putting some um music videos um um documentaries um fame money and all these things they're not doing the work of the most i yaba shimmy al shai you know we even have the group that was saying that we're wasting our time you know waiting for waiting for the return of our mashiach you know in which the, the verse after says, and saying, where is the promise of his coming? For since the fathers fell asleep, all things continue as they were from the beginning of the creation. You know, we have, um, is it HOI, you know, that are saying all, all, all other, other things, those abominations, you know. So, hey, these people, you better repent because if you don't repent, you're going to be destroyed by the Most High Yahweh Hashem Shai. you know. It's going to require the blood of, of those whom you've deceived is going to require the, their blood from your hand as written in the book of um is it ezekiel it says you should um it says you should prophesy to these people lift up your voice just roughly paraphrasing you know and it says those who do not turn back you know he's not going to require their blood from your hands but those whom um he has sent you to to wake up and you refuse to tell them the truth is going to require the blood from their hand from, from your hand you know so these people have to they have to you know repent because there is no longer time you know it is clear 
that the MOTB is is the microchip. So now let's read what it says. It says, things are starting to get really weird. What I am about to share with you sounds very strange, but it is all true. Before I get into it, let me ask you a question. If you could have a Vanessa passport permanently, permanently embedded into your hand, would you do it? Amazingly, some people in Sweden, yes, and I did a video in the past, you know, bringing out some videos. I don't know if it's still on there, you know. In Sweden, people are already moving around, you know, a huge number of the, of the, of the citizens of, of Sweden, they're already using the, the, the karagma, you know. It says, if you could have a Vanessa passport permanently, permanently embedded into your hand, would you do it? Amazingly, some people in Sweden are willingly doing this to themselves. They are putting microchips that contain their Vanessa passport information into their hands and they are raving about how convenient this is. You can actually watch a video of this being done to someone right here. You know, if you click here, That's a video right Säg ett litet chip i handen som man kan använda för att öppna dörrar och andra praktiska vardagsfunktioner. Ett chip i handen, vad, vad betyder det? Ja, det är ett litet chip, stort som ett risgryn ungefär, med en smart ID-kod i. Som då kan användas för att ersätta nyckelbrickor, passerkort och liknande saker. Och man kan också programmera in någon information man vill ha på de här chippen med hjälp av sin mobiltelefon. Jag har just nu två chip i kroppen. Jag har ett chip som sitter här uppe som innehåller helt... Trycker här, covid-bevis. Titta, handens skärblad och så den lilla QR-koden där. Jag ska chippa mig. Jag ska få ett en magiskt chip i handen så att jag inte behöver ha nyckelbrickor. Jag kan använda Swish. Man kan swisha mig direkt genom att jag bara håller upp min hand. Man kan ju få in sitt eh, vaccinationsbevis ja, i den där också. Är det någonting du, du kommer använda dig av? Det är för det är så sjukt mycket meta. Och ha vaccins, vaccinpasset eh, där. Absolut, så det, det är definitivt en grej som jag ska in. Känner du dig redo? Inte alls, men vi kör. Ja. En jävla ska, nål. Vi ska nypa här. Ja. Fjärna med en vinkla. Vi ska börja med en stor. Nu kör vi. Mm. Att bara rulla lite. Så. Ja. Och så vill jag att du tar ett andetag in. Och så andas vi ut. Okej, några, några gott om det sekunder. Hur känns det nu då? Nu känns det jättebra. Det känns ingenting alls. Jag känner mig som en lite bättre människa. Så so as you can see with your eyes, the MOTB is right here. You know, it's no longer it's no longer a thing of the past or something you should be you should be you know questioning about. It's right here. They've been using it for a long time. You know, so he says. Um, he says the video is not in English, but you'll be able to understand what's happening. So he goes to say, Sweden, get your Vanessa passport in a chip in your hand or elsewhere under the skin. It is increasingly popular to insert an IOB chip into the body with different types of data. And now you can insert your, your C O V I D certificates in the chip, you know. So it's still still telling you all this, you know, it says I was absolutely floored when I first watched that. Do you do they understand where this could lead? Society is increasingly being divided into two classes of people and a class of people that is willingly conforming is being granted many privileges that the other group is being denied. And, you know, that's what they just they've been doing all this while, you know. And we are getting to that point very soon, you know. You know, now they're, they're segregating, you know, those who, don't, who haven't had that relationship with Vanessa, who haven't taken the juice, you know. They're separating them. They can't go to certain places, you know. Like here in Italy from, I believe, the 6th of um, December, you know, they're starting with some very harsh, you know, from some harsh, you know, um, ways, you know. The, the, the mandate is, the obligatory mandate is just right at the corner. I believe on the 15th of December, it's going to start here in Italy. You know, it says the White House Chief Medical Advisor, 
um, this man there, Frauchi, he says, it's unlikely that the C19, okay, would never be wiped out and insist the world is just going to start to have to start living with it. He says, during an interview with CBS's face, Face the Nation on Sunday, Frauchi said he didn't believe C19 was ever going to entirely go, go away. He noted that the world had, on, had only ever eliminated one infection completely, and that's smallpox. You know, he says, we're going to have to start living with the C. You know, I believe that's the case because I don't think we're going to eradicate it. That's what Frochi says. He says, so if we're going to have, if, if we're going to, st uh, to have to start living with the C, that means that all the infrastructures that they are now putting in place will be, uh, will be, will be with us from now on. That means that there is, there isn't going to be an end to the Vanessa passports and the mandates or injections. You know, he says, in fact, the CEO of Pfizer, you know, I wouldn't say that word, says that we are going to have an annual um, Vanessa. <laughs> so, hey, you can go read the rest for yourself, you know. So, you know, it's right here, man. You know, this is the solution. The solution is, you know, bringing out the, the MOTB, you know, these words, just like the book of Habakkuk 2, 3 says, you know, though they tarry, wait for them, they shall surely come. Just roughly paraphrasing, you know. And now, if you go to the book of um, Revelation, is it 13, 16? No, now it says, and it cursed all both small and great, rich and poor, free and born, to receive a karagma in their right hand or in their forehead, you know, and that no man might buy or sell, save he that had the mark and the name of the beast or the number of his name. And now there is a video circulating TikTok and Instagram, you know, that dude showing you the stores where they made actually this, this, um, this, um, they made these devices where in order for you to open them, you would need to scan something, you know. But now they left opened. You now, brothers have been going through um, doing lessons on that. So I don't really need to bring that up, you know. So it's quite evident that that's where everything is leading to, you know. It's all leading to that MOTB, you know, because this is going to be the next solution. Now you have this um, Omicron um Omicron, you know, variety, variety, I'm just going to put it like that, you know, which, you know, they're, they're boosting, they're boosting it up so much, you know, they're, they're saying so much that it's, you know, it's affecting people, it's contagious, it's this, it's that, you know, but then the solution they're coming after is this Karagma, MOTB. Now, if you go to the root word, root word, root word of that mark right there. You know, it tells you it's Karagma. Now, going to Karagma, it says a stamp, an imprinted mark, you know, a mark branded on upon horses, you know, thin carved sculpture, graven work of idol idolatrous image, you know, that's something. And check this out. It says, if you go to the, um, to the root word in which we're going to go, it says a scratch or etching, i.e. stamp. Which means they're going to make a cotton into your flesh, you know. So how is this? How is this um, Christianity? How is this hegemony? How is this um, sleeping with white women? How is it all these crazy, crazy stuffs that people are just coming up with, you know? Now it tells you that it comes from the root word this in which we're going there, fifty four eighty two, which is Karax, you know, Karax. Now if you check Karax out. It tells you a pill, a stake, you know, you know, a pill, a stake, you know, a sharp to sharpen to a point. Oh, goodness. Because everything is just right at our front there. You know, you can't deny it that you're not seeing what's going on, you know. Um, now, if you're right.
oh, they say human microchip 2021. <laughs> What's this supposed to be? Oh, oh, now check this out. Check this out. Kalala Yaba Shemi Shai. It says DAPA. And which, if you need to go seek out who DAPA is actually, you know. You say DAPA displays human implant microchip that can detect viruses. Ooh. And this is just posted on the fourth, which is um today. <laughs> oh, it says the Pentagon's Defense Advanced Research Project Agency is working on creating an implantable microchip that would monitor the human body for signs of the C. Um, Vanessa, you know, it says DAPA wants to take pandemics off the table. It says the C1I has infected more than 250,000 US Defense Department department personnel and their dependents around the world hey just <laughs> it's right here man it is right here it is right here you know so hey you better you better start you know you better start repenting all the other that's thoughts otherwise you know let me just show you what it's You better start repenting, you know, all the people that have said otherwise. So you can see it, you can see it right there, you know. It's just right there, you know. They have this thing ready. They have it ready, you know. And it's been, it's been, <laughs> I would say it's been decades that the elders, the elder apostles, you know, starting from the Apostle Taha, you know, they've been teaching that this is what it is, you know. Now we're at that period. I hope they're not going to take this video down because Esau going crazy. You know, so you can see that's it right there. That's the karagma. And this is the next step. You know, <laughs> this is the next step. You know, if you've got time, you should just go look out this this article. It's even more powerful. This is DAPA, you know. And you know, DAPA is the defense, is the Pentagon's defense advanced research project. Now, if you go deeper into these people who they are, they've been working all sorts of wickedness, you know. And this man has a huge hand in working with them. The, the gates to hell, you know. So, hey, that's what it is. You can see. <laughs> wow. 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 It's right here, man. You know, hopefully this lesson was edifying. You know, the MOTB is the, the Palado chips. I'll just put it like that, you know. It's these chips right here, you know. There is no escaping it, you know, if you don't know this truth. Because how they come is going to they're going to come with subtlety. That's how the snake the snake does. It comes with subtlety, you know. Then if you have all these crazy Hebrew Israelite groups out there, you know, being even worse than Christians, you know, telling you that no, it's not it's not what it is. It's sleeping with white women, it's what you better come out of those Hebrew Israelite groups now, you know. You should run away because that's deception, you know. So, having said this, I hope this lesson was edifying. I would like to give all praises to the Most High Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Wahaurukah, Kodash, my double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, GMS, Shalom.